Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover Mathematics Syllabus 2, Paper 1, 4024, Variation 11, May, June 2017. Now, the first question is evaluate 0 0.2 times 0 0.08. So, as you can, uh, uh, you have seen that you can multiply that. 2 times 8 is 16. And after point, there are two digit. And after this point, there are one digit. So, 2 and 1, 3 digit. So make a point, one, two, three digits here, then put a point, it's like that. So 0 0.016. If you want to do some different ways, you can do it this way, 0 0.2 times 0 0.08, and take the point off. So to take this point off one, and after point, there is one digit, and take this point off one, there are two digits like that. So it's going to be 8 to the 16 divided by 1000 and you know that 16 then followed by a uh, point then followed by three digits like that. So you can do this way or you can do that. It, it's up to you. Now B it's add one pair of bracket to make the statement below true. So I have 2 times 3 plus 4 times 5 that equal to 70. Now 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 5 is 20, so it's 26. Now I have to introduce a bracket, okay. If I put a bracket here, it doesn't make any sense because in the bud mass, okay, you know that bud mass, that we need to do a calculation in this sequence, first bracket, then of, then division, then multiplication, this addition, then subtraction. So multiplication is always before addition so there is no point of giving this bracket over here or over here can i give a bracket over here because bracket has to be done before multiplication so let's put this one see what happens okay that's two and that's seven and that's five now five twos are ten ten times seven is seventy so we are okay so that's the bracket okay now question number two Find the perimeter of the shape below. All the angles are right angle. Okay, right angle, right angle, right angle. All the lengths are in centimeters. Okay, fine. So this is six, the whole length is six, and this is four, since this is 90 degree. Now this line, okay, this line, I can bring it over here. If I bring this line over here, so that's six, okay. And then I can bring this line over here and i can bring this line this line over here okay so this whole thing is six this whole thing is six this is four this is four so this comes down here this comes down here so four six four six and only one thing i have left is this and this i didn't mark it so this one and one so this answer should be four plus six plus four plus six and one plus one is two so 10, 20, 22. So that's going to be 22 centimeter. Now next one on the grid below, draw a trapezium with height 4 centimeter. An area given, one side of the trapezium has been drawn for you. So we don't have any choice. This is one already have drawn. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, let's say A is 6 given. I need to find out B. Okay, I, I already know height. So one two three four that's gonna be high okay let me draw a line over here so i don't have any choice i have to draw one line over here because the height one two three four four centimeter so as we know area of trapezium area of trapezium equal to half a plus b into height now area of trapezium given 18 18 equal to that's half and a is six b i don't know okay b i don't know and h h is given h is four so if i take this one over here 18 times two and bring this four over here equal to six plus b so that's gonna be two this is gonna be nine so b is gonna be nine minus six equal to three so i can since this is a, a trapezium so I can take three unit for B anywhere I want. I can take it over here, from here, one, two, three, or I can take from here, one, from here, one, two, three, it doesn't matter, where do you want? Uh, if I take perpendicular up, so one, two, three should be here. 
so the trapezium should be there are a lot of options okay there are a lot of ways you can do that i hope you understand that okay this is just one option as long as you have three centimeter length on this horizontal line okay so this is the trapezium we are looking for okay this is one option there are more options like that right okay now next one the diagram ab is parallel to dc ab is parallel to dc ac and bd intersect at e triangle ade is a right angle and isosceles with ad equal to de ad ad equal to de okay these two are equal so in the same diagram if i put this that means these two sides are equal it says that uh, ade right angle triangle isosceles with ad equal to de now this is right angle now and these two are equal so this angle must be equal to each other and i i don't know if i need this information or not but let me for the timing write down 45 45 because isosceles opposite angles should be equal so this two has to be equal to 90 since this is 90 so 90 divided by 2 is 45 uh, triangle ade ad okay i did that and this is 25 find x where is x this is x okay so um if this is 25 these two sides are parallel so i can say this is 25 as well right this is 25 now if this is 25 there's two marks this is 25 and all i need is this angle now see yes i needed that see that i have 25 and this is a straight line so this angle should be 180 minus 45 so angle uh, e d c equal to 25 degree and angle d e c is going to be 180 minus 45 I'm not going to be allowed to use the calculator since this is paper one and paper one is non-calculator version. Electronic calculators must not be used in this paper. So that's going to be 180, 45. So that's five, that's five, three, 135. Okay, so X is going to be 180 minus 25 plus 135. So 135 and 25, that's give me 061. So 180 minus 160, that's supposed to be 20. So X is 20 degree. Okay, so this one is done. And express 36 as product of its prime factor. So 36, short division method, two goes in three one times, having one, so eight is the, then 2933. Three. So I can write down 36 equal to two times, two times, three times three as that or i can write down two square times three square doesn't matter how you like it okay i put it this way write down two prime numbers whose sum is 15 two prime numbers whose sum is 15 okay so how many uh, whose sum is 15 okay so how many prime numbers do i have uh, less than 15 because if I go over 15 prime numbers over 15 then sum is gonna be over 15 so I need the prime number less than 15 so prime numbers less than 15 so I have options 2 3 5 7 11 13 these are less than 15 okay now it says that sum okay if I multiply this, see right way, I can see that if I multiply that three times five, that's gonna be 15, but it didn't say product. Okay, if it says product, then that was my options, this two, but it says sum. So let's see, I can see right way that this two makes 15. Two plus 13 makes 15. I'm gonna check other makes 15 or not. Three plus 11 is uh, 14, this is 12. So no, this one, so two, write down two prime numbers so 2 and 13 okay so that one is done let's go for question number five carl spends t minutes on his english homework he spent three times as long on his mathematics homework as on his english homework okay so uh, in english homework he used t minutes and he spent three times long on his mathematics homework as in English. So mathematics, he spent three T minutes. 
He spent a total of 2 hours 20 minutes on his English and math homeworks. To total in this two, okay, uh, that means 40 and that's actually 2 hour 20 minutes, okay. And write down an equation to represent this information and hence find the value of t. So this is, remember this one was in minute, but I have here hour and minute. So I don't need that. 2 hours 20 minutes gives me 2 times 60 minutes. That means this 2 hours in minute and then I have 20. So that's 60 times 2, 120, 140. So instead of that, instead of that, I have 40 equal to 140. So T equal to 140 divided by 4. Now, if I cross that one out, 4, 3 is a 12, carrying 2, 0, 20, 4, 5 is a 20. So T equal to 35 minutes. So that's done. Complete the sentence below which describe two different uh, types of quadrilaterals. These are more like you need to know the properties of shapes. Okay, quadrilateral shapes. A dash has two pair of equal sides and just one line of symmetry. Now, remember quadrilateral. Okay, so how many? Think about the parallelogram okay all the parallelogram there are there are parallelograms there is rhombus there is rectangle there is a square there is kite okay these are all parallelograms except the kite okay and then of course you have uh, very irregular shapes like this okay uh, this is not kite by the way okay it m might look like kite but let me show different way okay and trapezium okay so let's see it has two pairs of equal side so two pairs of equal side it can be anything from here okay anything from here but it has only one line of symmetry it doesn't have any line of symmetry okay this one has two line of symmetry one line of symmetry okay this one two line of symmetry this one two line of symmetry uh, actually four line of symmetry this is have only one line of symmetry and that one line of symmetry should be this one okay so that must be kite okay b is a dash quadrilateral has two pair of equal sides two pair of equal sides so these are all qualify for that uh, but no line of symmetry remember the first one i said no line of symmetry so that must be a parallelogram parallelogram Okay, so this one is done. And we're gonna go for next one. Question number seven says, in the diagram, AB is parallel to DE, and this one 140 degree, and this one 143 degree, find BCD. This angle equal to what? Okay, this angle equal to what? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just join this one, this line parallel to that. Okay, if it's parallel to that, now this angle and this angle are allied angle okay that means sum of these two equal to 180 degree okay so when it's 180 degree so 180 minus 114 that's gonna be 666 so this angle is 66 same thing over here these two are allied angles so sum of these two has to be 180 so that's 143 and if I subtract that 7 by 37 okay so this one is 37 now these three angles are drawn in one straight line or this C over here makes an a straight angle that means sum of these three equal to 180 degree so BCD has to be equal to 180 minus 66 plus 37 now 66 plus 37 that makes 13 carrying 1, that's 110, 103. So 180 minus 103, that should be 77. So that's 77 degree. Okay, so this one is 10. Question number 8. A car travels at 84 km per hour. Calculate the number of meters that car travels in one minute. Now, we do know that uh, distance speed times this is the mnemonic distance speed times that means distance equal to speed times time speed equal to distance over time time equal to distance over speed over here it says how uh, calculate the number of meters okay how many meters so we are actually looking at distance and that means speed times time 
Now speed I have 84 kilometer per one hour and it says in one minute. So one minute. Okay, that's one minute. Now this one hour I have to take it in a minute and then it says that in meters. So from kilometer I have to make meter. So 84 and 1000 meter makes one kilometer on one kilometer equal to 1000 meter. So that's going to be meter and over here is going to be 60 minute one hour equal to 60 minute and I have one minute over here. So this minute this minute cross out this zero this zero cross out and six goes in 84 six ones are six so fours are so it's going to be actually 14 times 100 is 1400 so 1400 meter a runner completes a race in 12.3 seconds correct to the nearest tenth of a second calculate the lower bound of that so 12.3 minus its nearest to the tenth that means 0 0.1 divided by 2 that's going to be 12.3 minus 0 0.05 and that should be 12.05 so this one is uh, uh, that's sorry 0 0.25 okay it didn't make any sense 0 12.3 and 0 0.05 so 12.3 i just show you that i'm right about that and the first time i was wrong so it's going to be 25 and that's going to be 12 so 12 25 okay a bag contains red and blue pegs there are 40 pegs in a bag the probability of choosing a red peg from the bag is 0 0.4 work out the number of red pegs so a uh, number of red pegs and blue pegs individually are not given together is given so let's take number of red pegs be x therefore number of blue pegs gonna be 40 minus x okay and it says the probability of choosing a red peg probability of choosing a red peg is 0 0.4 now look at this together is 40 red pegs is x so x divided by 40 equal to 0 0.4 Therefore, x equal to 0 0.4 times 40. Taking this point off, I put 1 and for 1 digit 0. So this, this cross out, 4 fours are 16. So there are 16 red pegs. Okay. More red pegs are added to the bag. Okay. Uh, work out the number of red pegs that must be added to the bag so that probability of choosing a blue peg is that. So probability of blue is given... 0 0.2 now initially okay out of 40 okay number of blue pegs okay blue was 40 minus 40 minus 16 16 red pegs so it's going to be 424 so it was 24 and red pegs that uh, initially was 16 let me say that uh, they added some added some red pegs we don't know how many so put that n okay now together is going to be 40 plus n okay so that blue peg is 24 so it's going to be 24 over 40 plus n equal to 0 0.2 means 2 by 10 i hope you understand that okay so if i cross multiply that it's going to be um, 40 plus n and then 24 times 10 that's going to come over here and this 2 comes down here so 2 that's 12 so n equal to 12 times 10 is 120 taking 40 to that side so minus 40 supposed to be 80 so 80 more red pegs are used in that bag added to that bag so that when a blue peg is uh, drawn the probability is 0 0.2 okay so that was it let me do the next sums uh, uh from next sums in my next video okay thank you for watching uh, have a nice day